Sean Brady versus Gilbert Burns. A very, very exciting fight. I know UFC's been kind of dry lately, but we finally, I think we got a really, really good fight against Sean Brady Gilbert Burns. I'm going to just basically talk about a little bit of what they've done and, and how they ended up here, you know. I'm a huge, huge Gilbert Burns fan. Sean Brady is still kind of fresh and new in the UFC and to me as well. And this is going to be the first fight I watch of him live. I've seen his fights, you know, but like on online YouTube, you know, previously. You know, Gilbert Burns, I like to say he's a veteran in the UFC. He has fought killers. Uh, at one point, you know, he fought for the title and um, he's been kind of slowly trying to get back up there. But then he has some obstacles, you know. He had that injury against Bilal. He fell short against Chemayev. He lost to JDM. Um, so, you know, this fight is very interesting for for Gilbert to see how he's going to do. And it kind of, us as fans, and for me, that I'm a huge Gilbert fan, I'm curious to see, like, all right, Gilbert Burns, I don't know if he's 38 or 38, 39 now. I'm just curious to see how, how much of it does he still have, right? Like, how good is Gilbert Burns right now? Um, because, I mean... When he fought Bilal, I was like, he beats Bilal. He's getting himself into a into a title shot. He got hurt in that fight, and then from there, it's kind of been downhill for for Gilbert Burns, which you know hurts my feelings as a huge fan of Gilbert. But you know, if he manages to uh, to um, get a massive win against Sean Brady and you know finish him, it goes to show you that Gilbert Burns still has it, and and he's still up there for title contention now. You know, the thing is, does Gilbert, is, is Gilbert Burns still that Gilbert Burns that when he fought Kamara, when he fought Shemayev? Like, is he still, when he fought Masvidal, does he still have that? And um, I, I'm afraid that he doesn't, you know, just because how he looked against JDM. Um, I don't know, 100% sure if he had injury. It looked like he did, or JDM just looked like he was just that much better, right? And, and yeah, in that fight, JDM was much better than Gilbert Burns. Um, and, and it seems like it seemed like in all aspects of that fight, um, it just seems like JDM was a step ahead the whole time. And, uh, you know, JDM is now talked about as well, like one fight away from a title shot. Um, so yeah, it's just like, how, where does Gilbert Burns stand right now? And, um, if he wins or loses against Sean Brady, us as fans in the world will, will know, you know, either Gilbert Burns still got it at that high level, elite level, or he's kind of declining and, and we're starting to see the end of, of Gilbert Burns' career, which would fucking suck, right? So, you know, and then the other side, you got Sean Brady up and coming, was undefeated to Bilal Muhammad, got a nice one against uh, Kelvin recently, uh, submit him. And, um, you know, fresh guy, young guy, hungry, upcoming, was undefeated. Uh, I want to say that's his only loss in the UFC. I personally haven't watched Sean Brady a lot. I don't really follow up uh, with him, like follow up on him and see how he's doing things like that. So this is my, like I said, my first live fight I'm watching of Sean Brady. Um, but from what I've, the fights that I've seen, and again, being young, hungry, upcoming guy, I like to think that he has the edge over Gilbert Burns. Um, he, he did pretty solid against Bilal Muhammad. You know, those guys were just going at it on the feet, did not go to the ground at all. And both of them were, one's a wrestler, one's a grappler. Um, and they decided to keep it on the feet. And uh, he, he was landing some pretty good shots on Bilal. I want to say he cut up Bilal Muhammad. But it seems like Bilal Muhammad's pace just kind of overwhelmed Sean. And, and then Sean kind of got fatigued and then got caught with a few uh, pretty solid shots. So, um... Again, I like to think Sean Brady has the upper hand. He has the advantage in this fight. And, um, you know, if if Gilbert Burns is, is, like I said, not that same fighter, you know, Sean Brady's going to have some success or a lot of success, I mean, just on the feet. But, you know, if Gilbert Burns still has a little bit in him, you know, he has heavy hands when he puts some combinations together. He lands some pretty, pretty heavy shots. So, again, I'm just so curious to see how the fight's going to turn out. Um, where the fight's going to go. I don't think it'll be taken much into the ground because both of these guys are elite grapplers. And uh, I want to say uh, Gilbert Burns, I mean, he's known for his jiu-jitsu. And uh, Sean Brady has a, a, a good amount of uh, submissions in the UFC as well. Uh, so it, it, I don't see this fight going to the ground. And if it does, it'll be exciting, no question. But I think both of these guys are going to keep it on the feet. And uh, just don't want to risk anything by taking it to the ground, right? So, um, 
yeah, like I'm going to be rooting for for Gilbert Burns, but I think Sean Brady is just going to have the upper hand in this fight. Just how Gilbert Burns has looked recently. I don't know if he was fighting injuries in his last two fights, and that's why he's looked so you know poor. Um, or or like I said, or he's just getting older and just kind of declining now. Um, and, and, you know, Sean Brady was doing really good against Bilal and then gets caught. And, you know, he does real good against Kelvin and, and gets a submission win. So, again, just from how they've looked the recent fights, I'm going to have to go with Sean Brady. But I'll be rooting for Gilbert Burns. Like I said, he's one of my favorite fighters in the UFC. And um, I, I'm really hoping that, you know, maybe he was just fighting injuries and he's still that Gilbert Burns um, that that I, you know, loved watching. And that how I became a fan, right? Just just scrapping, mixing it all up, and, and landing those big shots. So we'll just have to see, man. Um, so just let me know in the comments below if you guys got Sean Brady, Gilbert Burns, and how you think this fight's going to go. And again, not again, but guys, I just want to apologize for not posting much. I know that uh, I think it's been like two weeks since I've recorded. So I just want to say sorry about that. I know I said I was going to go hard, but there's been, there hasn't been too much to talk about. UFC has been kind of a, a little dry. There's, we haven't had any boxing. So, um, I kind of just been, you know, focusing on work and other things and, and just kind of chilling too as well. But the next few weeks, I like to think that the, the, the whole month of September is going to be real busy with content. So we'll be posting a lot of videos, a lot of shorts, TikToks, whatever. So, you know, if you watch this whole video, thank you so much. And again, I apologize for not posting. Just keep supporting the channel. And uh, I'll be posting videos when, when we got some pretty good fights. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know in the comments below who you guys have. Peace.